Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for jaredpoland.com for 10 years now. 10 years, man! The reason I've been using Squarespace for over a decade at this point 10 years. is I don't know coding and I have no desire to know coding. I'm a creative, you're a creative. We know what we want and Squarespace lets us get exactly what we want by dragging and dropping. Do I want a contact form? Simple, click here. Do I want to add a new gallery in a matter of seconds? Easy. Do I want to choose a new template? Sure, no problem. I owe a lot to Squarespace. Now, if you're looking to build your very own online portfolio and want to get a 14-day free trial, head on over to squarespace.com slash photo. If you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, a Danish gallery recently loaned an artist $84,000 to use to make some new art. And this right here is what artist, and I'm gonna butcher his name, Jens Hanning delivered. Nailed it. Very moving. Significant. I mean, will you just look at it? Very modern art. <laughs> That's truly amazing art titled, Take the Money and Run. Here's what CEO, and I'll butcher his name as well, Lass Anderson had to say after opening up the packages. I actually laughed as I saw it. It wasn't what we had agreed on in the contract, but we got new and interesting art. Oh yeah? First, let me start off with this. Modern art is stupid. There, I said what almost everyone is thinking, but nobody will say. Modern art is dumb. Oh wow, it's a dot on a wall. Wow, it's a banana taped to a wall. Wow, so artful. I can't even see what it's good anymore. It's just rich people bloativating over how much money they have and thinking they are so sophisticated because someone took a shit in a box and called it art. Hey, this is shit. Plenty of people have shit in boxes before. It's shit. It just so happens that some critic has ruled that one person's shit is worth more than someone else's shit because someone decided they wanted to pay for that shit. That we made a me. Shit, I hate modern art. The artist said he sent blank canvases as a commentary on low wages. Commentary on low wages? Didn't you just get handed $84,000 and you're complaining about low wages? That was definitely a loan. It looks like the museum might sue him for breach of contract. Now, I don't know what's in the contract, but if the gallery asked for two works of art, that's exactly what they got. Because art is subjective, especially modern art. Now, what do you think about this story? Let me know down below. Next up, Nikon's worse than a 90-year-old stripper. Think about it. They tease and tease and tease for months before showing you any skin. Now, I'm sure Nikon thinks that this slow roll is a good thing, whereas the 90-year-old is just slow and takes time to get those nylons off. Ah! Anyway, Nikon just released a new teaser video for the Nikon Z9. Personally, I would have preferred a teaser video from Madeline K in Nikon PR. To put it into context that most of my followers can understand because they're 98% male, Nikon gave us the Maxim magazine of looks, AKA implied nudity, but they left way too much to the imagination. Canon on the flip side for the R3 teasers gave us the Playboy look they showed some boob. And when Sony announced the A1, they went all hustler on us. They didn't tease at all. They showed everything, even the- Jesus. In the teaser video, Nikon shows us a photographer photographing a model with the Z9, with the focus being on how the screen tilts, which is not what I personally would have focused on. Not to mention, they aren't using the EVF. At the very last second of footage, the photographer tilts the screen out in vertical mode, which is something the Pentax has done for years. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? Yeah, Pentax. So what did we learn from this teaser? Nothing! We kind of saw the autofocus for a second when it went from the face to the model's eye, but it honestly didn't look different from the way their AF currently works. But of course, I can't know for sure until I get one of them in my hands. There looks to be a new D-pad for your thumb when you're in vertical mode instead of a knipple. I do like knipples myself. The play button has been moved to the right-hand side instead of the top left, which is easier to get to. It looks like a Nikon, which is both good and bad. It's good because Nikons always feel great in the hands. It's bad because compared to the button layouts of the R3 and the A1, 
there looks to be less customizable buttons on the back right top part of the camera, you know, where your thumb can reach, and that's not good. You know, I expect two or three more teasers before they officially announce the camera in a few months, and that's really all I know about it. But if you noticed anything that I missed, please let me know down below. And finally, we have some breaking news from Sony Alpha Rumors, where they say they are 99.999% certain. So you're telling me there's a chance. That the Sony a7 IV will be announced on October 21st. So basically what they're saying is there's still a chance that they're wrong. Nonetheless, they shared some rumored specs of the a7 IV, starting with it will have a newly developed 33 megapixel sensor, 15 stops of dynamic range, a 3.69 million dot EVF, 5.5 stops of IBIS, 4K video oversampled from 7K, have the same body design as the a7 S3, have a flip out rotatable screen, full size HDMI, the new menus of the new Sony cameras, two card slots for SD and CF Express A and might be priced at $2,500. Ah. Actually, dollars. In Canada, it's like 20 grand. You guys are dick. Now that was a mouthful. <laughs> I personally was not expecting an all new 33 megapixel sensor. If that's real, that kind of puts Canon's R6 on notice and Nikon Z6 too, well, what's that sound? Is that the Nikon money pinto puttering away? <laughs> I kid, I kid, it's really the money scooter. That. Sony Alpha Rumors claims that the A7 IV will be announced on October 21st at 1500 o'clock London time. If these rumors are true, this sounds like a pretty solid progression from the A7 III. Now in the comments on Sony Alpha Rumors, a lot of people were like, this isn't a major upgrade. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, really? A new body design, new cards, new sensor, new menus, new this, new that. Get over it. Nonetheless, we'll keep our eyes and ears open for more info, and if we get it, we will share it with you when it happens. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared, Polenfronosphoto.com. See ya.